Hello everyone, praise be to God and welcome back to the Bugs Life Action Game. Today we are on the third world of the game, The City. And we're starting things out with City Entrance, which... This is going to be enjo an enjoyable episode, hopefully. And this is going to be a really tough episode. This is a very, very difficult level to 100%, and can be very frustrating, but it's also really cool. So let's start. Level 7, Little Ant, Big City. Find Heimlich, Slim, and Francis. This is, this has, these levels have really, really cool theming, and they're very enjoyable, but boy howdy, is this level going to be hard. Yeah! This is also yeah, a rare level that's really difficult to just beat, and it's even more difficult to 100%. So whereas Riverbed Canyon was pretty easy if you just wanted to get to the end, this level is going to be tough no matter what, and it mainly has to do with the fact that you are stuck with the red berry for a very large portion of the level. And most of the enemies here are immune to it, or take a lot of hits to bring down. These daddy long legs, you can take them out with the red berry, but it's tough. And you may have just seen that, that's the gimmick of the level. Getting 100% is really difficult because of the grain. Every single level, and every single enemy on this level, there are 26 enemies, every single enemy has a piece of grain inside them. When you kill them, they will drop the piece of grain for you to pick up. The problem is, the grain will not stay forever, and will actually disappear after a couple of seconds. So when you kill an enemy, you've got to pick up that piece of grain really fast. You can also kill enemies that are, uh, so, such that they will drop the piece of grain where it's out of your reach, and if the piece of grain disappears, then it is gone from the level for good, and you have to restart the level if you want to get it. Which is really annoying, but it also, this level probably has the best music in the whole game. So start, starting things off... Where I need to go. So that's the end of the level. We just need to find those guys. Where's the tourist information? But this is really cool. We get to explore the city. These are our, a bunch of just beetles. And they are immune to the red berry. So the daddy long legs are annoying because they can shoot stuff at you. So the red berry is really not that great. It's also difficult because, well guys are just annoying. You're also, you're gonna have to use the invincibility. And here's another gimmick. You need to actually pick up grain on this level. That could be useful. Much like the tunnels, there are gates that you need to have a certain amount of grain before they open. Unlike tunnels, these are not optional gates. You need to take them. Also, I can't remember if these guys you can butt bomb bounce on or not. This is a yellow seed. If you uh, push on, if you step on this, it will create the level one yellow plant that will fire super berries at enemies. Me, Sounds me. pretty Red nice, berries. right? Don't. Because we can't destroy these guys with the red berry. It's actually not. Don't ever push that down. Because guess what? It can destroy enemies, but it can destroy enemies in such a place that you can't even see them and you don't notice that they get destroyed. And like I said before, if you destroy an enemy, they drop the piece of grain and the grain will disappear after a few seconds. So if this plant destroys an enemy that you're not aware of or destroys an enemy that's so far away you can't pick up the grain in time, you're screwed. Now to don't find use that yeah. plant. So here we are. Oh, never mind. I thought we were stuck with the red berry for way longer than that. But no, we get the super berry. The horse flies are back, and they are much more plentiful on this level. So now that we have super berry, we can go around and destroy the enemies and pick up their grain. I think that's out of reach. Darn it. This I can use. Hey, dude. Oh yeah. Thank you, Superberry. Gotcha. Nice ones. The music, though, man, come on. This music is epic. Yeah. 
Bye bye, buggy. Oh, yep. Almost didn't notice that guy died. Yeah. No. No. Oh yeah. See, the dumb stuff like that. If that happens, you're done. You gotta restart, oh, which yeah. is super annoying. Yeah. Wow. All right, the new plan. City. We're getting the super berry right off the bat. Like, look at that. It fell in the wall. This I can. Use. So clearly, that guy must have been stuck in the wall, and there was nothing you could do about it. It's really Fox. annoying. Oh, yeah. So yeah, new start to the level. You're gonna get the super berry right off the bat. I thought you didn't get the super berry till like the second or third room in the level. Super berry. Take this, you stupid horsefly. Now I'm really paranoid about hitting, uh, destroying enemies too close to the wall. That helps. Little ant, big city. That's the name of the level. So if you're invincible, you can actually walk across this goo. Because that goo will damage you if you're not invincible. And knock you back. Where's the tourist information? I don't think there is tourist information, Flick. You're on your own. Oh, great. Gotta jump back. Well, this is just like home. Excuse me, pardon me. Bye bye, Buggy. Take that. Why not ask these guys if they'll fight the oh, grasshoppers? Yeah. They're clearly competent. Gotcha. Bye bye, Buggy. So it actually might be smart to hold off on destroying enemies till you get now the gold berry. Because otherwise you might be like, wait, I'm missing a piece of grain. Which enemy did I forget to beat up? This I can use. Oh, yep, did you see that? There's a piece of grain inside the bottle. Uh-oh. I'm low on HP. So we can actually jump in the bottle, which is pretty cool. And there's a seed in here, which we actually need to get out. And it's difficult to do, because as you can see, the ceiling gets too low. So what you gotta do is kind of annoying. You gotta get behind the seed and just keep picking it up and dropping it. And it will move it ever so slightly forward every time, and you can actually bring it outside, which is... It's nice, but it's also annoying. Hey, dude. I call foul, too, Flick. So because there's this platform here, we can just use this as a stepping stool. And with this, we'll be able to reach more high places. This level's also really large. Oh, is that still out of our Little reach? Land, big city. That's still out of our reach. We need the level 4 uh, leaf plant to get up there. Speaking of level 4 leaf plants, hey dude. Where's the tourist information? <laughs> Looks like I really need to know where to go. Because the guy playing the game doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> he let the piece of grain get stuck in the wall and we had to restart. Well, this is just like home. This level is really big, and I do really like the theming, and I really like the music. And it's a really cool idea, but 100%ing it is so annoying. I still don't think it's as difficult as Riverbed Canyon is. Excuse me, pardon me. But it's close. Now to Definitely one of the toughest warriors. levels in the game to 100%. Up here, one piece of grain. 
The level, on this level, the grain is very spread out, which makes definitely makes it the first really difficult level to get all the grain wow, on. The city. Tough bugs. <laughs> Tough bugs everywhere. It really does give you the city feel, even though it's just a bunch of camp and boxes. This is the city. <laughs> yes, it is, Flick. Very good. Move your butt. Okay. Yeah. Alright, cool. This, I can't remember if we actually get every type of seed on this level. At least every type of color seed. We definitely don't get the cannon plant or the dandelion on this level. Actually, you know what? Where's the tourist information? Progress. Let's open this door. The sooner we get the gold berry, the better. Yeah! I wouldn't yeah, mind this, this level as much if the home. grain that dropped by was dropped by enemies respawned after it disappeared, but it doesn't. Oh, sure enough, yellow. We get every color seed here. Uh, excuse me, pardon me. I should give you an idea of just how large the level is going to be. This is just the second room. I think there are five rooms. Piece of grain in there. We want to grab that. How are there police sirens in the bug world? Unless that's like the real human police. What, what would bug police even be? Let's just call the, the bug police on the grasshoppers. No. Give me that. It disappears very fast, so you want to pick it up pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Get a little stressed every time an enemy gets defeated. All right, I had already beaten him up. Cool. Wow, the city. You do not want to be throwing your berries all willy-nilly on this level, because you never know when you're going to hit an enemy that in a place you can't reach, like high up. Boom. Man, the butt bounce to extend your jumps is very nice. You do not, I repeat, you do not want to use this homing berries on this level, because it will home in on enemies that are out of your reach. So don't even grow any berries other than the super berry or the gold berry. I'm just telling you for your own sake. Make me invincible. Little ant, big city. I'll come back for you. I think that's a good idea. Come back for the enemies after we get the gold berry. Gotcha. Or that can happen. Where's the tourist information? Man, Flick, you need more things to say. This is one of those levels where you actually do need to use the invincibility plants to your advantage, or at least the game tries to make you do that. Technically, you can just da take the damage if you want. Um, why did you not drop grain? That's worrying. Excuse me, pardon me. Is that like the one enemy? No, there. There's definitely 26 pieces of grain. Ah, uh, hi. Okay. 
Apparently, the, it didn't spawn, but it didn't disappear in it forever as well. So that's good. Progress. Yeah! Let's try to minimize now the to backtracking. Find those warriors. The annoying thing is the purple tokens are just scattered all throughout the level, so you basically have to get to the end of the level, grab the golden, just to get the golden berry, then backtrack all the way back to the beginning to do all this stuff. I love the sky, though. Very pretty. Push the wrong button there. We get it. Flick's, whenever Flick dies, he's like, FOUL! Alright, you know what? That bug's just minding his own business. So let's leave him alone. What I want to know is which bugs are spilling the green ooze on the floor. Are those the same bugs that spilled the green ooze on the floor in Andy's basement nice in the Bugs Life 2 or the Bugs Life 2 action game? That's the one. No, the Toy Story 2 action game. Great game. This is the city. Mega homing berry, that's good, but it's not enough. Little ant, big city. this time. I'll just jump over it all. Man, I forgot how easy it is to take damage on this level. Holy There's cow. Tourist information. Okay, we're getting close to the end. I believe that's the final gate. And I also believe the last gold berry token's around here somewhere. Or the last purple token. Man, things I do for one measly piece of grain. Well, this is just like home. Okay, sure enough. So you don't want to get too close to them, because otherwise the level will end. Oh yeah! E excuse me, pardon me. Where's that last token? Oh, I know where the last token is. And it's probably the most dangerous part of the level, actually. That helps. At least casually, it's probably the most dangerous part of the level. We're excluding permanently missing out on now pieces to of grain. Now find those warriors. That's weird. I, I must be missing something somewhere. Anything in there? No, there's not. Wow, the city. Flick's just like, wow, I'm enamored. Those yeah. flies have so much HP. All right, grab the eye. I destroy. This is the city. Okay, that was a piece of health. That was not a grain. Just picking up grain here. Gotcha. Little ant, big city. Aha. Never seed in the bottle. Although I can't really see how this is going to help me because I already have another seed out of the bottle. But it never hurts. Okay, there's something in the last area that I must have missed. There's a dead end or something. 
and I'm almost positive that's where the gold berry is, and it's incredibly easy to die there. So come with me. Well, this is just like home. I'm not really sure why this is the one and only level where the enemies drop a piece of grain upon their defeat. Like, it seems a bit unnecessary. Excuse me, pardon me. Stupid horseflies. Horseflies are among my most least favorite bugs in the real world. Most least favorite. They're among my least favorite bugs in the real world. They're always buzzing around the pool area. Now to find those warriors. Oh, it's probably back there. Wow! The city! So now what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to go and grab that seed that was in the bottle. Take it all the way over here so we can carry it across the toxic slime. Tough bugs! <sighs> this level's filled with a whole lot of puzzles, honestly. Which is really cool. I, I actually really appreciate this level, but it's just very difficult. I've died twice already. This is the city. Now if we wait for an invincibility to spawn, we can actually use it to carry this across the ooze. Little land, big city. There we go. That's the place. That could be useful. Boy, how is the that information? dangerous? So you saw the grate? Well, there are holes in the grate. If you fall down the hole, you instantly die. And it's very easy to get comboed and just keep falling down the hole over and over again because it respawns you like in such a place where you slide down back into it. Well, this is just like. So, this home. is where we can duck back here. Conveniently, there's a seed right here. Okay. Excuse me, pardon me. So, one, we don't really want to drop the seed down the hole. Again, one wrong step, and you're going down into the sewer, and you are dead. Camera doesn't help, and the fact that Slip Flick slides around doesn't help, and the fact that you have to jump up this platform, which throws you off center, also does not help. So, what I find is the safest thing to do is just jump as far away from the grate as possible, because otherwise, you, there's a good chance you're just going to find and now drop down the grate. Now, we're going to walk back very carefully, very slowly. You don't want to fall off. Pick that up, back off a bit, so that way the seed popping up doesn't push us down in the pit. Now walk very carefully back. Cool. And we now have the gold berry. We now have the gold berry. And now we can use this seed to get back up to the other side. That is incredibly dangerous. I made that look easy, but I swear if you fall down the grate, the game always spawns you right next to the grate in such a place that you're very likely to just slide down and die. Oh, thank you, Daddy Long Legs. Bye-bye, Buggy. One other thing we need to do. There's the cape back here. I'm not sure why you would ever need or want the yellow plants on this level. Oh yeah! Alright, so we're missing the L. Hi. Nice one. So we're missing eight pieces of grain. Little ant, big gotcha. And I have gotten most of the grain from destroying the enemies. But there are a few I haven't, and I'm being super paranoid. Gotcha. Yeah. 
I knew he was one that I hadn't destroyed. So now we get to backtrack and destroy all the enemies. So we're still not out of the woods yet. Where's the tourist information? Oh yeah! Yeah! Beautiful. Well, this bye is bye, just like home. Oh yeah! Nice Alright. Already got the green from him. Excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> Flick, there's nobody around. Who are you trying to get, whose attention are you trying to get? Yeah! And also, unless I'm mistaken, those yellow beetles that are just kind of trundling around, they don't appear on any other level. Oh man, do I have to take now the seed all the way back here just to get that one piece of grain? I hope not, but I probably do. Nope, not destroying you when you're inside the signpost. No, no, no. Flick, don't get stuck. No. No! <laughs> Why did he get stuck on the signpost? All you had to do was move down. Wow. Great programming. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? Wow. I can't believe that. Actually, I can't believe this that, because this game is, is not very well designed. Actually, no. You know what? I'm just going to show it up. Wait, no. I permanently destroyed him, so I can't even show off the fact that it is permanently gone. Wow. Oh, yeah. Well, I will cut back to that point for later on. Yeah! Okay, back to where we were before that dumb thing happened. Let's kill him when he's away from the signpost. Also, if, I forget if I did it on the Everpoifer, but I did get the piece of grain up from the top of that box. All you need is the tall leaf plant. Anyhow. So he's gone. Cool. Oh, let's bring the... Let's bring the very tall plant over there so we can get the last flick letter. Hopefully, we won't have any more grain screw-ups, shall we? There aren't very many seeds on this level, so you gotta be careful. Thankfully, the seeds respawn if you fall them- if they fall off a cliff. If you throw them off a cliff, not really a big deal. They- they're actually- the game programmers were smart enough to make those respawn, but not the grain. Why does the grain even- like, disappear after it spawns. That doesn't make sense to me. This is the city. Come on. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're down to free lives now, by the way, because this level uh, can just kick your butt over and over and over again. Collision detection is really bad in this game. Little ant, big city. Ow! Nice one. Oh, that helps. I really hope that if an enemy drops a leaf, they will only drop a like a heart. I'm not saying this right. I really hope that if an enemy drops a, a health plant, it means that that you they they can't drop the grain. Yeah. Because if it's like, oh, they'll drop the grain, and unless they drop health instead, that would be terrible, this because that means I would be unable to get that piece of grain, because I permanently destroyed them. Also, there's the volley plant, which throws up the mega homing berries on this level. I have no idea why. But, you know, whatever. You absolutely do not want to kill the beetles when they're on top of the toxic... Well, this is just like home. I will say that right now. Because that can and has happened. Not this playthrough, but in a past playthrough. Bye bye, buggy. Nice one. Lovely. E excuse me, pardon me. Stop falling through the card, Flick. Come on. Ah, 
that helps. I really hope now the last four pieces of green bullies. are back in here. Okay, well, that's one of them. Oh, yeah! Because a lot of enemies are dropping health, and if they can drop health instead of the grain, that's going to be bad. Where, how did I not take damage from there? You know what? I won't even complain. I'm invincible! Wow! Gotcha. The city! Alright, we got six enemies left. I just need three of them to drop yeah. grain. Cool. Top bugs. Ah. Yeah. I hate horse flies. Get out of my life. Bye bye, buggy. <gasps> that helps. Three enemies left. This Two of them need to have sick. grain. If I have to replay this level again, I'm going to lose my freaking mind. Little ant, big city. This is my favorite level casually. It is not my favorite level to 100%. Gotcha. Well, got him. How about you? Drop a piece of grain? Nice one. Thank you. Now, please, drop me the last piece of grain. Yeah. Yes! We have everything. Okay, we have everything. Only thing that can hurt me now is the toxic goop. Where's the tourist information? <laughs> okay, looking back, this level's not very well designed. There's way too much backtracking, and the fact that grain can disappear. Keep in mind, 26 pieces of the, of the grain are contained by enemies, all well, of which can disappear like forever. Home. You need at least 30 pieces of grain to reach the end of the level, which means even if you're not trying to 100% at this, it's still entirely possible to just screw it up so that way you can't win. This should not be allowed. Oh! Oh, come on! Thankfully, the next level is a lot better. And <laughs> now that I've beaten this level again, um, I'm going to say that the next level is actually my favorite level in the game. It doesn't have as good music, but it's way better designed. those warriors. And it still has the cool theming. I'm coming! Don't leave without me! I'm Hick Swim Francis, I'm coming! <laughs> yeah, that really wasn't worth it. Hey dudes. What you looking at, kid? Well if I had to guess, I'd say Well, hello down there. May I suggest that you find the rest of our troop, and then we can meet again at the bug bar. The bars where I'll send them back to the dung heap. Mmm, easy as pie. As far as pie, no. What? I like raspberry. Excuse me, but can you handle grasshoppers? Can we? If you need help handling a crowd, our troop here guarantees a performance like no other. Why, when your grasshoppers arrive, we are gonna knock them dead. That is not the original voice actor. <laughs> Never too much grain. F L I K spells flick. That's me. Well, oh. Right. That was the most painful one I've done yet. Yeah, that was more painful than Riverbed Canyon. Oh yeah. Whereas Riverbed Canyon was easier than I remember, this one was probably harder than I remember. Bonus movie clip awarded. Okay. I'm glad we got that movie clip. <laughs> Most important scene in the movie right there. Because <laughs> you see, because the snail got no salt, now he's going to be salty. 
and he's gonna try to kill us next time maybe don't hold me to that that was just a joke thanks for watching everybody hope my pain was your entertainment tune in next time we're going to the city square which is a much better level i don't know what i was saying when i said city entrance was the best level no city square is the best which ironically a lot of people find this harder it's way less difficult the enemies are way easier and it's <laughs> nothing can permanently disappear but it's definitely tricky it's a giant maze essentially so look forward to that until we meet again my friends have a great day and god bless